Hey, this is Mike. I'm just checking out this 2015 Ram 1500 Laramie in Canyon Brown. Now it's a two-tone truck and I just think it looks awesome. I mean the Laramie itself, I mean it has a lot of features and everything, but the, the Laramie with the chrome grill and the brown and the, it has a light tan interior, frost beige I think it's called. But check out that color. Now I've seen one of these in a 14, but um, I just want to show you the 15 with all its bells and whistles. Has the halogen projector headlights with the the LEDs across here at the bottom. And if you want to see what those look like at night, check out my at night video on the Ram 1500. And here in the front, awesome chrome grill. It's got the tow hooks here as well as these little round dots. Those are the parking sensors as it in the front and the back. And they wrap around all the way to the sides which really helps out with swinging corners and stuff. You got the standard halogen uh, fog lights there at the bottom. Now this one has 20 inch wheels and they are chrome clad wheels. So they are a uh, they're plastic cover over aluminum wheels. Now this one has the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with VVT and MDS. MDS is the media, uh, the multi displacement system. Basically, it cuts back to four cylinders when you're not driving the vehicle hard. VVT is variable valve timing. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and here's the key. This is what the key looks like. It's a proximity key and everything is locked up. I'm going to double check by pushing the lock button. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap this twice. It's going to start up. And it's kind of windy today so I hope the audio is even going to work. But Alright so uh, I didn't have to unlock the you know the doors or the key because as long as I got the key in my pocket I can just walk up like I did and just grab the handle and it opens up. The reason why it has a proximity key um, I'm going to go ahead and relock it with this button. Basically all I have to do is put my hand behind the handle and keep, keep an eye on the, the door lock there. I'm just going to put my hand there and it unlocks the doors. And uh, so basically you never have to take the key out of your pocket if you don't want to. You just walk up, get in, and, uh, and, and drive the truck. It has a push button start so the key can remain in your pocket the whole time. So here's your passenger door. You see it has a, a lot of tiers of storage. Brown, light brown and dark brown interior, like a tan and a brown interior. And it's got some wood grain here. Now this is real wood in this truck. All the wood that you see in this truck is real wood. It's got your stitching here, and almost everything is soft to the touch, except for the wood. Power seat. This is the controls for the seat. You can go back and forth, and uh, you can also adjust the back. But this right here is your lumbar support, and it gives you support right here in the back of the seat. It moves it in and out to where you can support your back and give you the more natural shape when you're driving. There's your floor mat. It's got a cool rubber, like a slush mat, already from the factory with a ram head in it. And uh, it's got these bolts looking design. Glove compartments here. And then you also have the storage compartment here as well. It's got Laramie written there. Little pocket right there. And you'll see tons of those in this truck. Like right here, so this pocket here is designed to fit a full size file folder, or you can put your mail, or you can put any papers, pretty much anything in there, uh, like that. Now, these seats are heated and ventilated, and the little perforations here in the seat kind of help with the heat and the, and the ventilation. And also just kind of give you an added comfort that you don't get like sweaty or sticky on these seats like some of the older leather seats. You got Laramie kind of embossed in there or should I say branded in the back there. Alright, 
here's the back door. This is a crew cab truck, so you've got plenty of room to get in and out of it. And you've got some good leg room, too. And here's the inside of the door. You've got some pockets there, here, and down there. Stitching, wood grain. you got all the, 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 the niceties of the front in the back. And these seats are also heated back here. And uh, you can see they're perforated as well pocket there and the heated seat controls are right here in the center in the back of the center stack uh, or console I guess you can I guess you want to call it whatever you want to call it and power supply there you've got some vents now this is a one piece slush mat that goes all the way from one side to the other and then that way you can uh, protect the carpet very good This folds down, and then you got your cup holders and armrests. Now the seat lifts up, and it's a 60-40 split, so you can lift up one or the other or both. And right underneath it is this thing here, and this is a a fold flat feature where you can fold this out, and then you can um, basically. I'm just going to kick these legs out just so you can see what I'm talking about. These fold out. And then this goes down like so. So that way, you've got a flat surface in case you, let's say you don't want, it's raining or something, you don't want to pour, put something in the back of the truck or if you need to secure something in this truck, you got like a box that you pick up at a store or whatever. Um, you can slide it here and then that way you don't have to put it in the truck itself. Uh, I mean on the seats. So it's a good, pretty good feature I think. Another thing I've heard people say is that you can actually fold it out like that also, and then put the seats back down and then that way kids if they're sitting in the seat or in the in a, in a in a in a child safety seat and they're facing forward they can rest their feet here on this uh on this platform there i guess you might need another floor mat to go there or whatever but uh, i've heard people say that so let me fold that back up and because there's something else underneath it this is your your subwoofer. This one has the premium Alpine sound system. There's a subwoofer and the uh, the amplifier underneath the seat. If it didn't have the uh, the the Alpine sound system, this would be a storage space. Now there is storage space on the other side, which I'll show you in a second. And there's some also some cool storage space here on the floor. Let me move this floor mat out of the way, and you can see um, basically this opens up, and then you've got this storage container in here, and you can dump it. And, uh, and reuse it and it's completely out of the way and what's interesting is people use that as a cooler too you put ice in it and you can put drinks or whatever and uh, it is insulated I'm gonna put the camera underneath the truck so you can see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that but um, there's kind of like an insulation around it so it's kind of it kind of acts like a cooler all right and all the storage is, you know, completely out of the way. I mean, you got it in the door, you've got it underneath the floor, under the seat, in the back of that seat. So there's lots of cool features about this truck that's kind of hidden away. All right. So back here, we've got the dual exhaust, so we can have, hear that hemi rumbling. It has a towing package. It's got the your plug-ins for a trailer. It does also have the power, the trailer brake control too, which I'll show you that when we get up front. These little round circles are your um, your parking sensors. In the back, they're in the front, just like I showed you. Now, one thing a lot of people say um, is that make sure that if there's ice or, or you know something over that it might impede its ability to work so you want to keep an eye on that here's the backup camera lens you want to make sure you keep that clean it is pretty high up so it's not you know going to kick up dirt on it immediately but it will get dirty and you want to clean it with like say a uh, you know a soft cloth that you would normally clean like say um, a normal camera lens something like that so you don't want to scratch that little lens because it's kind of like a uh, it's a uh, it sticks out similar to a GoPro and uh, so it's easily scratched there in the center 
So this is a locking tailgate and it locks and unlocks uh, with the key. So right now it's unlocked since I unlocked all the other doors. Uh, this will relock once I put, you know, lock the truck. So there's the back of the truck there. And um, you can get a spray in bed liner if you wanted to. This one is just completely paint. And some people prefer the plastic bed liners or some people prefer no bed liner, but you'll have all those options. Coil springs in, in, the, in the Ram trucks. Unlike some trucks, just have big old leaf springs, which kind of uh, kind of takes a little bit away from the ride. This one has the upgraded 32 gallon uh, fuel tank, and basically you can do that number to has a little place there to hold the, the gas cap. I just want to show you on this side, you, you know, this, it does have the storage in the floor just like on the other side. And it, and it has some storage space under the under the seat here. And this is a, you know, pretty good size. It goes down in there pretty good. It has a good wall here to keep things from sliding out and getting in the way where your feet are. Once you put it in here, you can actually uh, snap this in place if you want to. And, all, you know, this folds out just like the other side. And once you put the seat down, it's, you know, you can have stuff under there and it's completely out of the way and it's out of sight too. Heated side mirrors. Comes in handy. Now here's the inside of the driver's door. And, you know, it's got the same features like I showed you on the other side. Everything's soft and high quality. Super high quality trucks, the Rams are. Door lock controls, power window controls, side mirror controls. Right here, you can see it says auto. These are auto down and up. Um, this is, you have to choose left or right for your uh, your power windows. Now the center button here is to fold in the side mirrors. So you can fold those in and out by pushing that button. And um, if you want to get somebody's attention, you can push that button while you're driving by and they see the mirrors fold in. It's kind of interesting. Power seat, you've got a uh, lumbar support there, but also this little button here that has a one and two and S, that is your, uh, you can kind of preset your seat um, to a certain place and then that way one or two uh, will, you know, have two different settings. All right, so here's your power. This one has automatic headlights. Your fog lights, you push that button to turn those on. There's a dimmer switch here. This button here is for your cargo lights. You push that button, and you can see in, our, in my night video that uh, there's a cargo light will come on and, and basically illuminate the whole bed. So that's what that button does. It does have tilt uh, steering, but no no telescopic steering wheel. I mean steering column. It's only a tilt, but to make up for that, it has the uh, power adjustable pedals down here so I can adjust the pedals in and out to kind of get that right you know distance um, to your to your legs or whatever all right so yeah, hop in all right so basically uh, since there's a remote start it you know it only run for a certain amount of time and it turned off and it just did so so now I'm going to show you what it's like to get in and start it up. Um, you just go in and push the start button. Now if the vehicle didn't turn off, uh, when you do get in the vehicle, you still have to push that start button to turn everything on because um, it will, you know, just basically be turned off. So I'm going to reposition the truck but because the sun's shining right directly into the camera. So let's drive around here and I can kind of demonstrate something here the backup camera when I put it in reverse backup camera pops up there I'm gonna turn the steering wheel and it shows me which way I'm going so I can back up this way like so and I'm just going to pull it over this way away from the Sun all right there we go 
All right, so here on the steering wheel, it is a leather wrap steering wheel and um, with stitching here on the inside. And it's a brown in color. And then you've got like this kind of like silver or gold looking accents here. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control. And uh, right above it is your gear selector switches. You can change to the gears if you need to downshift or upshift. It does have an eight speed transmission. As you saw the, the shifter, it's just a dial and you can just switch to the gears if you need to downshift especially helpful if you're going downhill and you need to downshift uh, to avoid using your brakes as much now on the back of the steering wheel is a volume control I can turn the volume up on the radio just above my hand like that and on the left side I can change to the stations All right now it's not showing the radio right there so I could change to the stations um, just by pushing the buttons on the back of the steering wheel there which comes in handy keeps your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel so on this side you've got your Bluetooth phone button you can send and receive calls there once you pair your cell phone uh, voice recognition there's a whole bunch of voice commands that you can use on this truck uh, such as turn to a certain station or even go to a certain address uh, call a certain person there's tons of voice recognition buttons there that you can use and it's well worth going through and learning how to use the system because uh, you can pretty much it'll save you a lot of time and, and a lot of aggravation if you learn how to do it right so just below those buttons there is these arrow buttons they correspond with the screen here between the two gauges or the, all the gauges here so right now we're in the trailer brake control um, screen and uh, so that's where you kind of you can adjust the trailer brake and there's no trailer connected right now but you can adjust the gain and stuff like right there so I'm going to scroll down this is what the radio is doing uh, it doesn't always start in the trailer brake control it just happened to be where somebody left off stored messages would be there screen setup would be there there's a lot of different options like you can change right now it has um, the, the compass there on the left I'm facing northeast uh, 55 degrees outside I can change those things uh, you can change it to uh, how many miles you have before you run out of gas that kind of stuff scrolling down again uh, this is kind of more the default sp speedometer the default screen that you would normally leave up all the time because it's your speedometer and it kind of accents your regular speedometer over here scrolling down again this is your vehicle info screen it gives you lots of information uh, on the what you know the tire pressure and different things so let's scroll through to show you tire pressure um, transmission temperature oil temperature oil life um, gauge summary and uh, in your engine hours there so I'm going to scroll down again this is your fuel economy it'll give you a real-time uh, fuel economy gauge and it'll also give you an average this is your trip the trips pretty cool because it's not just a distance it also gives your average miles per gallon your average miles per hour and your elapsed time you have a second trip in case you need that and it scrolls back to the same stuff we already saw and I'm gonna put it back on speed there all right so let's move over here right up here is a little storage pocket just below it this is your eight 8.4 inch Uconnect screen uh, pretty much loaded on this one this one has a, every option that I know of it's got the radio satellite radio AM FM it gives you information what's playing here you got your presets at the top media this is where you can actually play music off of a CD player which it has I'll show you where it is uh, the USB drive which I'll show you where that is auxiliary uh, it also has a SD card input and you can play music off of a Bluetooth device like your cell phone once you pair it so there's a lot of connectivity options with um, playing music off of this because you know CD players are kind of phasing out this one does have a CD player but it is an option so if you you know not all the trucks have them controls this is where you can control your heated steering wheel heated uh, seats here in the front and your ventilated seats here in the front climate uh, this is basically your climate control you have a dual zone uh, left and right driver and passenger you can adjust them individually or you can hit sync and sync them both where you want the air to blow uh, how fast how much air you want to come out the fan speed that, all that good stuff and next icon here at the bottom is your navigation 
and the navigation um, basically you can go to specific places addresses stuff like that um, but you can also you know view the map and kind of get your bearings and see where you're at and you can zoom in and out if you want to phone this uh, once you pair your cell phone uh, this is where you'll see your phone book your recent calls you can actually uh, dial um, out certain numbers um, everything's kind of blacked out now there because there's no cell phones paired and I'm thinking about possibly doing a video on showing you how to pair cell phones to different Bluetooth devices now if you're in a call and you need to transfer back to your cell phone for privacy you can hit the transfer button there you connect apps um, you, you need to register with this once you get your new vehicle I'm not going to do that now but there's lots of different apps and um, just want to show you one thing right here it says via mobile that is using cell phone data off your phone so you want to be aware that it is using data if you, if you have a limited package um, favorite apps one of my favorites is travel link and this is where you can get awesome stuff you can get the weather movie listings most useful I think is the uh, fuel prices now if you're in an area where you're not familiar with uh, you know the gas stations or whatever you're traveling you can find out where the nearest gas station is right now it's sorted by distance you can also sort of by price if you want to get super cheap and you can also sort of by brand in case there's a particular brand that you like so let's say um, we're gonna go to the nearest one because we are almost out of gas so we're gonna hit this one here it's gonna tell us the name of it the address the phone number I can hit call I can call them up and ask them if that you know if they have a certain thing that I'm looking for like clean restrooms or whatever or I can hit go now and it'll take me to the navigation screen and tell me exactly how to get the there. The route is being calculated. So right there it kind of gives me a route and um, so I think that's pretty cool. And you know if you're if you want to go the fastest, the shortest, the economical, um, you know all kinds of different choices there with your route. Of course this is like two blocks away so it's not that important but these are your different options on your navigation. All right, so that's your main thing there. Um, you know, the main features. There's a lot more features, but those are your main features there in your Uconnect screen. It's basically like a computer system. And let me show you again the backup camera, but in reverse. And as a, like I said before, it is like a GoPro camera. It's a wide-angle view, so it looks the Earth looks ground rounded. But the advantage of that is you get to see really far to the right and left, and up and down. You can see it shows the bumper all the way to the sky. So it really gives you a good view. Really easy to back up to a trailer for sure. And it helps you avoid running over bicycles and stuff that you can't see out of the rear view mirror. And the lines, when I was backing up earlier, move. As I turn the steering wheel, they turn to give me an estimated trajectory and size of the vehicle as I back up. So um, it's just an estimate though. You still have to, you know, watch out. And when I'm driving and I'm backing up, the let me put it back in reverse the parking sensors will pop up there so that's the front and back and kind of give you an idea of what's going on I have a video about that if you want to check it out now here's some redundant buttons your volume tune through the stations your climate control buttons down here these are all extra buttons um, you can also turn the screen off though if you want to do that you can always turn it on by tapping it and the back button is for to go back in a previous screen. This is your trailer brake control adjustments. Uh, forgot to show you over here, four drive controls, which are pretty basic there. Dri uh, the trailer brake control, uh, you, you know, like I was showing you in the screen, you can adjust it to fine tune it once you hook up a, a trailer. Over here, you have some more redundant buttons. Uh, your, your ventilated seats, heated seats here on the, on the front, this is your driver's side, this is your passenger side, heated steering wheel, you have a traction control button here to turn that off, it's default on, tow and haul button, you push that if you're hauling a heavy trailer, and the parking sensors I keep talking about in front and back, um, you can turn those off in case you get close to something and you don't want to hear the beeping and you, you know, you're, you're aware that you're close, so you can turn those off individually front or back. You got a pocket there. You also have a little cubby hole there, and a uh, one. Uh, it's a 150 watt, 115 volt power supply. 
and this is not going to power hair dryers or anything but it is good for like plugging in a laptop or something like that there's some storage space it looks like a place to put business cards there power supply big old bin to put stuff cup holders place to put some uh, you know pens or something in there this one also has the the file folder uh, place on the side of the console on this side now this is a big old armrest console and this is like a big clamshell it's got a cool ram there that's kind of sticking up but this lifts up in half and in here is where you'll find a uh, big storage area but also your you, this is where the SD card, USB, and auxiliary inputs are, and a USB charger. And it has a little place so you can put wires in and out there, and here, so you can, you know, put it like a tablet or a cell phone in there, um, or run the wires in there to the the connections there. Now, um, you're probably wondering, where's the CD player? Uh, I mentioned it did have a CD player. I hadn't shown it yet. It is actually under here. So here's your big storage area, and then you've got your CD player there. And like I said, this is an option, and it's probably going to fade away. So, you know, you want to go ahead and transfer your CDs to a digital format, a solid-state video <laughs> digital format, in the near future. And there's a little place to put wires in and out there. All right, this one has an auto dim rear view mirror as well as auto headlight dimmer so basically if somebody's behind you and they got their high beam headlights on uh, it's going to dim this mirror so it's not going to blind you also if somebody's in front of you aiming at you driving at you and they have their headlights are shining at this truck it has a sensor that's going to dim your headlights for you so that way you don't blind other people right here is uh, garage door controls this is for a your sliding back glass. Got tap lights here. Visors have mirrors and lights in them. Same thing on the other side. Kind of take a look here. It's got the side airbags, adjustable seat belts. And you notice it has handles on all the doors, even the driver's side. You got speakers there in the in the ceiling. You've got hooks there on the back above the glass. All right, so let's look underneath the hood at that 5.7 liter Hemi. Five point seven liter uh, has MDS and VVT, saves you money on gas, and you still have tons of horsepower. It's like four hundred horsepower. So awesome truck, tons of features. There's tons of stuff I probably didn't didn't point out, but you know, really need to check one out for yourself if you haven't. All right, and this and the battery is in this insulation here to kind of protect, keep it from getting too cold. It's like a little coat. And if you're not familiar with engines, they got you covered because everything in yellow is color coded. So everything in yellow is stuff you can kind of check on your own. And um, and if you're watching this and you're not familiar with engines, never open this up when it's hot. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. And um, I do have an email address in the description. And I'm going to paste the entire window sticker with all the features in the description so that way if there's anything that you you know maybe I didn't go over or whatever you can look through there and see if this truck has it and um, you know try to look locate it yourself in the video all right thanks for watching see you next time